today. We are going to start with an interesting question. Is there a way to explain why some things are cool? Probably not. Being cool is one of those things that is hard to describe. Almost like something that can't be explained, but it can be known. But one thing is certain. You always know it when you see it. And that is precisely the case with this machine. It doesn't have anything spectacular. It looks to be an easy and simple project. The colors are way far from being flashy. In other words, it has nothing to make it stand out from other projects. Except one thing. Every time I look at it, it simply looks very cool. Welcome to Racer TV. Just like I said, this is what I call, a very cool project. Even though it is nothing that distinguishes it from other projects, this bike captures our attention. It may seem like a contradiction, but that is precisely why I said, it is hard to describe the reasons that allow something to be considered cool. Nevertheless, Let's try to find out, by studying the builder's choices on this beautiful cafe racer. Contrary to what you may be expecting, this is not the work of a professional builder. It was built in Germany, by Sebastian Happ, who is also known as Basti. There is an interesting story behind this project. Sebastian was always interested in design and technology. Professionally, he works for BMW on research and development. No. Not with motorcycles. Everything began when Sebastian started to get annoyed, with the easiness his friends could get a parking space with their motorcycles, at downtown Munich. This was the moment he realized, he needed to eliminate the car from the equation. The question was. What kind of motorcycle should he have? And just like many of us, after some thinking, Sebastian chose precisely the opposite of what he was working with professionally. A 1976 Honda CB550. The exact same year of Sebastian's birthday. The perfect machine for a cafe racer custom build. He didn't have a workshop, and only a small amount of tools. But he had an enormous amount of passion, to create a great cafe racer.
What a lovely engine sound. It is very hard to capture it on camera. Without the wind noise. But fortunately. Sebastian did a great job with all the recordings. So, returning to this project story. After Sebastian got all the required tools. And with the help of some friends. He found the right place to build this Honda. His own house cellar. It may even be an unorthodox place. But what is certain, is it worked beautifully. Sebastian's initial plan, was to build a cafe racer just as clean and simple as possible. And bring the original cafe racer flavor, to a more modern and sleek style. And I think that is precisely what he achieved. So simple. And so beautiful. I know some of you are going to say something like. Hey, how are you going to ride it in the rain without the mud guards? And I will start answering with another question. Do you really believe this motorcycle was built to be ridden when it is raining? I think it is quite obvious. That most cafe racers have some limitations. But just like this beautiful Honda, it also has many qualities, no modern motorcycle has, or will ever have. This is the kind of machine, that can be appreciated by most people, including even a person who doesn't know nothing about motorcycles. I am not saying this just as an opinion. I am saying it from my own experience. Anyone who rides a Honda like this one, simply can't go unnoticed. And this leads us to the initial question. Is there a way, of making things look cool? Well, on this particular motorcycle, I would say it is all about the right choices. If you look carefully, there is absolutely nothing on this project, that is trying to grab people's attention. And at the same time, there is nothing considered as fashionable, among most of today's custom cafe racers. Sebastian respected all the chrome and polished surfaces, and allowed them to play their part, as in a real vintage motorcycle. He only changed the essential, like a custom seat, a shortened rear frame structure, LED rear light and blinkers, a rear set of foot pegs, the exhaust, and the clip-ons. These are the minimum and essential changes, to reach a cafe racer from a Honda CB550. But the way Sebastian made them, also makes a difference. All the electrical wiring, switches and sensors, were very well hidden. The rear sets were made in a CNC milling machine. The 554 logo on the top triple tree, was laser cut. And even the symbols on these buttons, were made by sand blasting. Another detail you probably didn't notice yet, is the fuel tank paint. Or maybe I should say, the lack of it. Most of this clear grey surface is brushed metal, protected only by a clear coat which gives this shiny but raw look of the pure metal. Subtle, but very beautiful when seen from certain angles. Everything was extremely well built and finished. But all these choices, are not enough to create a cool cafe racer. And this is where it comes, the heart and soul factor. This is when someone makes things effortlessly, but with sincerity, and being truly honest to himself. In other words, it's forgetting the world exists, and creating something you always loved, without even knowing it.
And how can we know that Sebastian thought about all this during this project? Simple. Because he invested all his effort on this build. Without even having a motorcycle's driving license. Besides that, this Honda really looks very cool. Right? And this can only be achieved with heart and soul.